I've always assumed this throughout my life and maybe I was wrong all along. We know that our brains, in terms of how we understand reality, are working as prediction machines. So it's not simply the case that we, you know, our brain reconstructs our environment based upon what we see, what we hear, what we experience on a minute by minute basis. And actually what our brain is constantly doing is taking information from our eyes and ears and all our other senses and is saying, does this meet with my expectation of the world, how I understand the world? It's when there is discordance between what our senses are telling us and what we expect that we then adjust our expectation of the world. And that's really a shortcut because we, we, we don't have the, the data power, we don't have the bandwidth to recreate our world on a second by second basis. And so we need an internal model of how we expect the world to appear, to sound, to function. And that adjustment, depending on what we've learned, probably happening during REM sleep. I've always assumed this throughout my life and maybe I was wrong all along, but is it safe to say that if I dreamed last night, I had a good night's sleep? Um, no, not at all. The experience of dreaming is typically associated with waking from REM sleep. There are some individuals who kind of wake from REM sleep and feel very refreshed. It doesn't particularly signify anything. But there are some individuals who actually dream very vividly every night and they find that incredibly disrupting to their sleep. They wake up feeling completely unrefreshed and it may indicate that actually something is disrupting your REM sleep. So there's no real correlation between between whether or not you remember your dream and how good quality your sleep was.